This video is for a manual provisional emissions return. Let's start from the Tupuaki home page. Log in to Tupuaki, click on the party, which you wish to submit a manual provisional emissions return for. While on the party home page, navigate to the services button and click. A services pop-up will appear, for the service type choose the relevant one. In this case, we will click on post 1989 forest land standard. For the service request type, click on submit an emissions return. For the service request subtype, please select submit a manual provisional emissions return, then click next. A services pop-up will appear, please read all information required. Once you have read all the information, click next. Another pop-up will appear asking whether you have received grant funding for any parts of your forest. Click the relevant answer. In this case, we will click no and then click next. Your application will appear, make note of the application number. You will note that all details in your application have been populated automatically. Please check that all details are correct. If you have made a mistake, you can click the cancel button on the application and go back to the account screen. If you wish to continue, click on the add remove CAA button. You are then presented with the CAA selection pop-up screen. Please note this will only show CAAs that are available to be chosen in the provisional emissions return. Example, CAAs won't show in the CAA selection screen if the constitution date is after the return end date, or if the CAA is being used in another open application. If you wish to select an individual CAA, click the checkbox by each individual CAA number. If you wish to select all CAAs, you can click the first checkbox within the header. You also have the possibility to deselect any CAA if you choose not to include them in the return. Select the CAA or CAAs to be included in your application. Once you have selected the required CAAs, click the Save button. After the CAA or CAAs have been added, the next step is to update the Carbon Accounting Areas Carbon Stock Change. To do this, First you will need to click the Related tab. Then navigate across on the Application Details view and click the downward arrow on the right-hand side of the row. Click Edit. An edit screen will pop up where you can update your carbon stock change. In the Edit Application Details screen, you will need to update the relevant carbon stock change field and click Save to update the carbon stock change on the application detail. If you received grant funding for any of the forest land in the emissions return and the expiry date is during or after the return period, you should only fill in the GFF carbon stock change tons field. If your expiry date was before the start of the return period or you didn't receive grant funding for any of the forest land in the emissions return, you should only fill in the carbon stock change tons field. You will need to repeat this process for all the CAAs in your application. Once you've entered the values in the correct fields for all your CAAs, click Calculate. The banner should update. Check the net value displayed in the net outcome field. This is the total units in your emissions return you have earned or need to pay. The direction field states whether this is an entitlement, which is units earned, or surrender, which is units to pay. If the net outcome is incorrect, click the return to edit button to edit the values you entered for each CAA and recalculate the net outcome. If the net outcome is correct, you are ready to proceed.
Before declaration, you will need to upload a file that shows your calculations for the emissions return. To do this, scroll down and click Upload Files and upload the relevant file. If you want to cancel at this stage, please click the Cancel button, and the system will take you back to your account page. If you wish to continue, the next step is to declare. Please click the Declaration button in the banner to declare. A pop-up will appear, read the information, and when satisfied, click Continue. Another pop-up will appear, check your net outcome amount then click the box to confirm that you understand and accept the declaration, and lastly click on Done to declare. If you wish to cancel at this stage, please click the Cancel button, and the system will take you back to your account page. If you wish to proceed, the last step is to make payment. To do this, please click on the Make Payment button. A pop-up will be presented outlining the fee amount including GST. Please click on the Enter Card Details button to pay. The Wind Cave portal will now open. You will need to enter your card number, the name on the card, the expiry date and the CVC. Once all information has been entered, click Submit in the Wind Cave portal to make payment. The system will validate the card details. If successful, the emissions return process is complete and will be submitted to the team. Do not close your browser until you are redirected back to your application in Tupuaki. The banner on the application should be updated to show your application has been submitted. You should also receive an email notification as well. This concludes the steps required to submit a manual-generated provisional emissions return.